What's up guys, Dr. Liz here and welcome back to the final installment of our Plague Tale Requiem playthrough. So last week before we wrapped up the game, I released a community poll asking if anyone was interested in a achievement cleanup and a few people were interested in such a thing. So like I did with Innocence, we're going to wrap up the rest of the achievements so we can get the 100% achievement run of this game. So the video itself is going to be split into three sections. The first one is going to be for the achievements that are specific for chapters. So that means that in order to get them, you have to do something specific in a specific chapter. The second part is going to be for the rest of the collectibles. So we will get the rest of the souvenirs and we will find the chest, the secret chest that we've still got to unlock. There's a few of them. And the third part of the video will be pretty much just a little rundown of what I, well, roughly what I did and where I unlocked the last three achievements, which will be the skill achievements. So let's jump right into the very first chapter to get our first achievement. Alright, so first up in the chapter achievements, we have Perfect Shot. So for this one, we have to hit all of the acorns that he sends into the war. I thought I got them all the first time around, but obviously not. You can't hit the first one, which actually passes by before we start. Yes, we are. Hello. Oh, hello. Hello. Hello, I'm friend. Again. Oh, it can be pretty loud, yes. I wanted to ask you. Can I play with you? Yes, but who are you? <laughs> I'm Tona. I live nearby. All right. We're Hugo and Amicia. Can you shoot, Tona? Of course I can. Great. I'm the king, and she's my captain, and we're fighting a sorcerer's army! I'll fire the cannon then! Now, let's fight! <laughs> wow! You're a great shot! Well done! <laughs> they won't pass, I tell you! <laughs> You're good! But they keep coming! And they'll keep sinking! Our defenses are too strong for them! Soldier Tana, keep firing the cannon! Yeah! We're kicking their arms! I do not remember there being this many. Okay, now I'm pretty sure I got them all, so hopefully this will work. So it should unlock after the cutscene is nice. finished. Come along, my king. The war is over. Let's keep following this river. You sung so many. You're a there we go. Captain. All right. Nice. First was, yeah. specific chapter achievement done. So let's move on to the next one. All right. So the next chapter specific achievement is one called Mercy, which you will find in chapter four protector's duty so when you get to um this area with the soldier who is helping you to get across which you know you wouldn't expect because the soldiers are douchebags you get to the end where you and lucas are reunited and we are going to let the soldier come down here and then we are going to have to try and get past him without killing him because the first time i played i killed him <laughs> therefore i did not get the achievement so we're gonna wait for him to come down. Who knows what he'd have done if we'd met in the city? Follow orders. Yes. No matter what they were. Guys, take his time. We did it. I'm lucky you decided to break the law tonight. We should go now, no? Yes. We're in a hurry. 
Sure. I'll escort you back home. Actually, we must keep going that way. Impossible. You're going back home. Oh, come on. Let us go. We did our part. The law is the law. Let us pass, or you'll regret it. You're threatening him? <laughs> I am. This is too important. <laughs> All right. We don't have time for this. Run to the stairs. <sighs> so we should get it now. Come on. There we go. The is right there. And that was it. So don't kill the guards on the dock. So as I said, the first time I played it, I did kill him because I didn't realize you could actually just get by him without killing him. So that's how we do it. Well, let's move on to the next one. All right, next up, we have the perfect thrill achievement, which you can get in Chapter 8, A Sea of Promises. When you're done the first part of the marketplace and you're starting to walk upwards, there is a little area to come down in here and you will find this little throwing game all you have to do is get a pot through every single one of these flower things which i failed at the first time because i couldn't get the angle right so Fine. let's try let's again I do. You'll win. i'll judge you harshly if you don't please i'm trying to focus now if you throw it too high It'll hit the top. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm so proud. First of you. one down. <laughs> Good start. Thanks. Yes. Keep All going. right, we got two out of four. Them two out of four. Bullseye. All right, Impressive let's get the last indeed. one. Hopefully, this will work. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, Fine. Let's see how I do. You'll win. I'll judge you harshly if you don't. Please, I'm trying to focus. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. Oh no. Good start. Yes. Keep going. Slaughter them crowns. Bullseye. Impressive indeed. Astonishing work. May this be the sign of a blessing. Thank you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that one took me a few tries, but we got it. So that was the perfect throw achievement in chapter 8. So the issue I was having was the last one. I wasn't getting it in the right position. So I started with that one this time and it worked out better. So let's get the last chapter specific achievement. All right. So last up in this section, we have the achievement for old protector so what we have to do in this one is interact with all of the old protector items in the sanctuary so this is in chapter 9 tales and revelations and this is in the sub chapter phoenix so after you've seen the cutscene just follow sophia down to this area and we'll go into their place where they What's lived pretty this? much are we the first to come in here oh tent you're right. It looks untouched. Too sacred for them, maybe? Hey, do you know whose room it is? It is! It's Basilius's room. Just imagine. He was living here. Playing here. Sitting where you sit. Isn't that astonishing? Yes! And he loved tents, just like you. You love tents? Me too. He had a phoenix. Yes. Maybe he dreamt the same dream as you. Let's see what else he left us. All right, so after you have had this little cutscene with uh, Hugo and Amicia, there are four things in this room the first thing that you interact with is the tent, so it doesn't count because you've already done it in the cutscene. And next up, we have this little horse. Look, that's a lovely horse. It's your size. Pretty sure he was your age. Yes. And then next, 
we have the bed of Basilius. So that was his bed. That's beautiful. This Basilius was treated like a king. Maybe he was a king. King Basilius. Just like Hugo becomes King Hugo. Let's just double check the tent. I'm pretty sure we can interact with it again. Yeah. And then last in the first room, we have something on the table over here. So it's like little doll things. Look at that. Hmm. They're people. Important ones, maybe? Prophets? Are there prophets in the order? They're villains. I think he shot at them with this ball here. <laughs> Makes sense. Boys. <laughs> I like this game too. Come, we've barely started. Wow. Alright, so make your way into the next one. room. Not just any warrior. Look and there's the another four the items in here that we need to interact with. So there's this little toy chest on the right hand side as you come Toys. in the door. He was coming here to play with her. And she don't ask me what Sophia's doing because I don't know. She was the best kind of knight. I would have loved to meet them. And next, you want to interact with the armor sets over in front of you. What of it? It's a lady's armor. Oh, Aelia. This is her room, of course. She was his protector. Protector? The carrier's personal guard. Like me. Like me. She looked strong. All right, and then next to this, you'll see another prompt for this weapon rack. Sword and spears. Wow, look at the axe too. I wonder if they were put to use. They built this place to avoid it. The carrier draws attention. Valuable tiny creatures. Indeed. And then next, there is little um, like wax tablets Dark. here. Wax tablets. They're carved. He drew her. And there. Super cute himself with her he loved her it looks like they spent a lot of time together just like us this is so strange it is let's keep on so those four are the only things you need here and then just progress to the next area this is crazy i feel like like i know them like basil could have been my friend i know what you mean oh Look! Huh. That bird again. Its shape. It's the Order's symbol. The phoenix is the Order. It's just that. Um, sorry, boy. But no! That explains why it stands above the child on their frescoes. They thought they were better than him. They didn't care about him. It doesn't change why we're here. Come, let's finish this first, right? Hmm. Alright, so there's nothing to interact with in the outside area when you leave the last room, so just make your way to the next room where there's a bit more stuff in this I'll room. Be damned. What's this now? An alchemy laboratory. Can we go back now? But it looks exactly like what you're searching for, no? Yes, but... <laughs> no, you're right. Look for anything that could lead to an elixir. A, a potion, like books, drawings, maybe raw materials. On it. Alright, so if you walk straight over to this area here, you can interact with this thing. An Athenor. <sighs> no, whatever's been cooked in there is long gone. This place is crazy. And then there is a little s a flask thing this here. Is useless. Please, I need something. And then you can interact with the um I don't even know what this is. It's like a an alchemy machine or something. Empty. No. What the hell? Hey. Or maybe it's just Quieter. flasks. I don't know. We'll find something. Uh, sorry, Lucas would know. What were they making in these? Things? Lord, give me something, please. This is all centuries old. What do maybe you this is um, maybe I think the um needs you, Amicia. Yes. machine. 
Then you can interact with this little um, fire thing. That. Oh, I don't even know what it's used for. Come on, give me something. There's nothing much. Oh. A phoenix. Look for a phoenix. And then after you've looked at all of the prompts around the room, you can interact with the prompt in the middle where Hugo is standing. Hey, something's wrong. I'm sure they heard him too. Hey, I know things aren't turning out the way you expected, but... Nothing ever changes, Amicia. But Aelia wouldn't let them hurt him, right? You... You let Vodan... No! I... I tried to stop it. I, I know. You tried. Sorry. Hey, come here, you two. Sophia, where are you? Upstairs. How did you get there? Look behind the curtains. So that should have been six items in this room. So what you want to do is just follow the command that Sophia gives you to find this curtain and go to the other side of it. Hugo. What is this? No door. Some sort of uh, observation hallway? It'll take you to this stairway that you can go up and the last two things you need to search for are upstairs. Oh. What have you found? Your alchemist library. Looks like they were observing the child from here. Like he was in a cage. So one thing, do not interact with Sophia and the table over there until you have got them all. Because that's what happened when I did it the first time round. I missed one and interacted with her and then I missed it. So the scroll you want to look for is up in the top. It, I guess it would be the left hand corner when you come up. What are those? Scrolls. Probably about Basidius. They're in Latin. Any mention of a cure? No, but they took other notes. And then once you've done that one, this should be the last one coming up, which is if you go to the grate where you can look down, it'll give you a prompt We're for that one as well. Laboratory table. It's wrong. Imagine these bastards standing there, looking at him. We have to focus on what they learned. I may have a lead. That is the all. And that will get you the old protector achievement or trophy, whichever you're playing it on. And that is it for the chapter specific ones. So next up, what we're going to do is do the rest of the collectibles. So we will get the rest of the souvenirs and we will do the open secret chests as well. Because there was a few of them that I missed because I kept forgetting that you need the knife to open them. And I would sometimes use the knife or forget to look for the knife. So we're going to go and try and find all them as well. Alright, so on with the first souvenir that we missed, which was in chapter 3. So what you want to do is after you've, uh, well, after you've opened the gate and managed to get out of there, you'll come across this area with like little buildings and stuff. And there's actually a little area here. That we can actually get into but i didn't realize we could do that so if you come around to the other side and you can pop open the gate let's see what's in there and then go in and you'll find the grave souvenir a grave right next to a house they wanted to keep their dead close i can understand that we never buried father he's home and at peace amicia you're right Let's get back to it. There we go. So that is the first one that we missed. Alright, so next up is in chapter 4. I actually missed all of the souvenirs in this chapter, so we gotta find them all. So the first time we were here, we went down in this hatch first. So what to do is do not go near that hatch. Follow this little path in here. this city. Used to be a commercial and it will lead you to the next one. Now it will be a door for the spread of the bite. That's depressing. Oh god, I hate that it's so annoying to move these. Physics is not good in these things. So move the box over to this side. And then climb up. Uh, 
and then you'll find this pile of silk down here. Just interact with it. I think it's silk. Lucas, look, real silk. It probably came from China. I've never seen so much. There's a fortune here. Someone made this on the other side of the world. Do you think it's the same in China? Do you think they have the rats too? Maybe not. Not yet. We have to stop this. I didn't even consider that. So, new souvenir, silk treasure. So, as I said, that is the first one in chapter four. All right, still in chapter four, next up we have the souvenir for a grain of salt. So, what you want to do is after you leave the, um, the tar workshop, you'll come to this little bit here where this is how you proceed. But don't do that yet because there is a bit right over here that you can knock down with your rock and head out this way. So many people must be dying right now, but it's so silent. It's so pretty. Come. You keep thinking you have control over this, but we're merely grains of sand in the Macula's path. I'm not a grain of sand, Lucas. I'm just saying, you need to stop feeling guilty. Maybe. Come, there's a boat waiting for us. Let's get Hugo out of here. Very well. Very well. All right, new souvenir, a grain of sand. All right, so after you have reunited with Lucas in this area, there is a ladder up here that you can knock down. So let's do that and go up here. And this should be where the other souvenir is. Oh god. As long as we go up, we're safe. Have a look around because we haven't been up here yet. We're pretty high up. They're still waiting for us. Look at that, there was a knife there. Alright. This Let's should be it. the best of it for now. We can try to cheer Hugo up. You think they'll hear us? Well, you can shout pretty loudly when you want to. Depends on what's trying to kill me. So, together? Yes. On one, two, three. <laughs> Wait for it. Amicia! Lucas! He's seen us. Let's go. <laughs> New souvenir, Hugo. Start. We should be playing for fun. That's funny, we didn't even shout Hugo's name. <laughs> it was worth it though, it was worth it. Alright, let's move on to the next one. Now we play to stop him falling apart. Alright, so next up we have a souvenir in chapter 6, leaving all behind. So after you first get control of the rats with Hugo, after you leave the big area where you've just killed all the soldiers and you come in here, there is a door to go outside there. But just ignore that for now and go up the ladder and then the souvenir oh, is in this room i completely missed it first time because i thought this was the route to go your bandage is dirty we could change it i think we could use those they're clean all right so in order to get this one you just want to interact with hugo after he offers to change the bandage all right it will make and you that feel is what he will do. I hope. Which one? I don't. That one. <laughs> don't move. <laughs> Sorry. It's over. <sighs> Thank you. I hope it helps. Does it look badass? Of course it does. So that is the souvenir for which color do you want in chapter six? There we go. And we got ourselves a nice new bandage. Alright, next up we have a missing souvenir in chapter 7. Felon. So after the 
fighting on the beach and stuff you'll come to an area where you have to slip through a little passageway and as soon as you've done that it might place you a little bit further on but what you want to do is after like literally straight after that there is a ledge bit here that you can climb up on on your left hand side and we just want to go in this cave and grab the torch so that we can see what we're doing I think there might be rats in here not too sure could just be darkness yeah okay Ooh. so follow it down can you find the souvenir in here kind of cute that was the souvenir for the first men oh that's kind of cute all right so for the last souvenir that we're missing what you want to do is in chapter 10 bloodlines after hugo gets a little bit crazy and tries to kill all the soldiers for killing all the the people that were i'm guessing they were living there or something and obviously you drag him over to apologize to sophia there is this little area here that you have to go through to progress. Now the first time I got here, I was really confused about how we were supposed to get that done. But there's actually a little bit you can walk through here. And use it's your crossbow on this and it will do its thing. So it's just set up and boom. And then just pull on it and it will drag that down and we can climb up there. I don't know how I missed I this I in, the, in my playthrough. Super weird. Oh, I didn't really miss it. It's more I didn't realize that the thing for pulling it was behind us. Because <laughs> I just ran right past that. You good, Sophia? You good? Yeah. Uh, okay. Hold on a second. For some reason, that's not letting me do anything there. It's gonna move around until it, like, resets itself. Alright, let's try again. There we go. Lord, they use this tree to chain up slaves. That's what they do. Look. <gasps> Is it? A ragdoll. There was a, a child ragdoll. Doll. Charming. A child slave. That's possible? It's not, is it? I'm sorry. They took their door away. You should put it back. They couldn't even bring it Oh, the right doll's got blood all over it. But Aww. maybe they escaped. That's what's most important. Yes. Come, Hugo, let's leave. All right. New souvenir, a ragdoll. There we go. We now have all the souvenirs. So that unlocks the achievement trophy for all the souvenirs. All right, next up we have uh, three more chests to open. Now, most of the time my issue with this was I had already used the knife before I got to the chest. Therefore, I ran out of the knife to open the chest. So I think if my correction is right, I only need to open three more of them and I'm pretty certain I know where all of them are. So I'll show you where the knife is to get them open and I'll show you where the chest is. So this is in chapter four near the beginning. So we've got this little area where there's the two and this is where we dropped in from the hatch that we saw earlier when we were looking for the souvenirs. So there is a knife here that we need to grab um but we need to kind of stay hidden soldiers i opened it we'll have to sneak around hopefully there's a side way to pass that gate what do you think is behind it we'll know 
way too soon. You believe they'll make it this time? I believe nothing. I just know bodies keep coming from the city, and we had too many of our own. I should have gone to see my mother when I could. Pray. That's all we have left. And that's not much. Alright, so the knife is literally right there in the center of the area. And then just sneak away back. Alright, so after you've collected the knife from the area just before this, you make your way through the sea of rats where we pretty much set the whole ground on fire. And then you'll get to this brazier, but instead of taking it forward, what we're going to do Wait until the rats invade it. is go this way. You probably recognize this if you did watch the, the rest of my playthrough, because I did actually come here first. So just push it so that you're safe from the rats. Pretty much here is good. And then there'll be a ladder right here, so if you just run up it and the chest should be up here. And because this time we've got a knife, we can open it. Oh yes. Alright, so that is another secret chest we have managed to get. Alright, let's get to work. Alright, next up we have the knife and secret chest in chapter 9. Now, the issue in this is there's only one knife and there's two chests. So if you've been following along, you may have already picked up a knife from an earlier chapter. So you might have one on you. But if not, and you only have the one that's in the chapter, you will probably have to replay the chapter in order to get the second chest. So what we're going to do is, because we've already got the first chest, we're going to grab the knife that we used for the first chest to unlock the second chest. So when you're in the very early part of the chapter and exploring, you'll find this uh, little tower thing where we found the first chest. So the knife should be in here somewhere. If I remember correctly. I think it was behind this door. Yeah, there we go. So that's where you'll find the knife and if you continue up this ladder there and all the way to the top you will, well, up to one of the top levels you will find the first chest that we have already opened so we're not going to bother doing it again. And then you just want to keep continuing on until you hit the sanctuary road or the way to the sanctuary and that's where we'll pick up oh, and the chest all right so we're a little bit further in chapter nine now so we've just spoken to the goat herder dude who's at the gate and he told us of the alternative route to go up which was the little side goat track thing so we're just a tiny little bit up there we've passed the bit where you can get the goat souvenir so you'll find this little ledge climb here, up. so yes. climb up and you'll find the secret chest which we already discovered in our first playthrough. And now we have What's a knife, we, have here? we can open it. And that will be all of the secret chests in chapter 9. So we should have one left to get now. Alright, so after you have escaped uh, the hordes of enemies pretty much, you will come to this area where after a cutscene you're stuck in sort of like a field type place 
This is just inside the walls with all these rats. And you now can use Sophia's refraction thing or whatever it is. She uses her prism to create light pretty much. So if you work your way from where you first come in and over to this area and you go inside and upstairs, there will be a chest at the top here, which we couldn't get before because I didn't have the knife, which we got in the last area. So this should be the last one, if we've done it right. And there we have it. So that is the explorer achievement for opening all the secret chests in the game. So up until this point in the video, all of the achievements that I have unlocked were all done in chapter select from the first playthrough. Now the next part of the video, all of those achievements will be unlocked in the new game plus. Now I just want to say before we start this part that where I unlock these achievements will not be where anybody else unlocks them unless you followed my playthrough like literally step for step. There is probably no chance you will ever unlock them at the exact points that I did. So the first one that I unlocked in New Game Plus was the fighter achievement and that is for maxing out the aggression skills. So I think if I remember correctly I unlocked that one in chapter 4 maybe? It was just in the section after the herbalist had been killed and we had to go save Lucas. So I'll show you just a little clip of when it popped for me. And then we'll move on to the next one. We have to go now. They're coming. Go hide. I'll handle them. So as you probably guessed, the aggression skill is pretty much unlocked by just being aggressive towards the enemies. If you just run out and just like face them head on, it will probably unlock pretty quick. But like I said before, it kind of depends how your play style is. If you're aggressive, you'll probably unlock it pretty early on. I know some people unlocked some of them in the first playthrough, but again, it's all based on your play style. Now, the second one that I unlocked was the malignant achievement for the opportunist um i'm this one was a little bit weird because i had conflicting information from different people about how it actually unlocked some people were saying it was based on the tools that you used when you were like attacking and stuff and other people said it was potentially based on how many enemies you killed within each encounter i'm not too sure so I can't give a definitive answer of how you actually unlock it but this one I unlocked around about chapter 7 I think it was in the new game plus so I'll show you where I unlocked it so it was around about after we had met Sophia and just as we were on the way to her boat so let's have a look
This place is getting worse than the end. We're making good progress. How's the head? Fine. I like your new hair. Thank me. Oh, please. All right, so we have finally arrived at the last achievement in Plague Tale Requiem. So when I was playing this in New Game Plus, I unlocked this one in chapter 13. It's when we are in the area after we've just escaped from all the rats and there's like a load of enemies around and we kind of have to kind of get past them to get into the city pretty much or what's left of the city, I guess. Um, so the achievement is called Sneaky. And that is for leveling up the prudence skills. So as the name of the achievement implies, it pretty much wants you to be sneaky in order to level up. So essentially the best way to do this is to not kill any enemies when you're in an encounter with them. If you can find a way just to sneak past them and make sure that none of them see you. Because I found in a few encounters when I did it, if I was spotted even once, my bar would not move up at all in the prudence skills and um, there are a couple of scenes with the count where you're supposed to be sneaky but there's not really any way to avoid it so he will see you but the bar will possibly go up at some point and that is going to be it so i'll play the little scene of where i unlocked it and as i said it was in chapter 13 and that is going to be it for our 100 percent achievement run of a Plague Tale Requiem. So thanks for watching guys and I will see you in the next video. There's a boat over there. Yes. Please be alive. Please be alive. I can't believe our Countess is dead. I heard the Count is so devastated he won't even be there for the hanging. They built a gallows on the harbour square for Arno. They're hanging the walls? Damn them. I wanted to see that. Yes, me too. He's not dead. He needs us. We don't have time. We must go. Really? Even after what he's done? All right. We need to reach that harbor anyway. We get Arno on the way and we get out of here.